Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. As you know, we are firmly in the post-game here, and we just finished a, a, a mission in Nautica and received the Sea Queen's Conch. So I'm curious if I play the conch, what will happen? You can hear Queen Marina's voice. Does my voice carry to you? If so, may my words help you decide what you next to do? In Cobblestone, your hometown stands a maiden pining yearning. She waits with patient longing for her chosen ones returning. Back there in Cobblestone to talk the Rocky Spire, a man in peril prays for aid. His situation dire. The Rocky Spire? A father and his daughter, for a hero's hope they wait. You'll find them in Gondolia, just there inside the gate? But these are not the only souls who seek to create at present. The weight of someone's suffering can fast become unpleasant. Okay, so basically Cobblestone we've already been to. But I didn't help anyone at the top of a spire in Cobblestone, right? And then he says to go to Gondolia. Let's go back to Cobblestone try to figure this out. Thank you, 2-Bar King, for 100 bit cheer. I appreciate that. And yes, Derek, thank you for the compliment. He likes the Sonic shirt. This actually is not a new shirt. I wore this shirt once or twice before. Cat bought this for me many, many months ago. And I only wore it once or twice. I forgot about it. It got, like, crammed in the back of my drawer. That's the problem when you have too many t-shirts. They're all crammed in a drawer, and then I fucking don't see certain ones. And I felt bad. I woke up this morning. I was looking at the shirts. I was like, oh, shit. I had this back there for so long. So I wore it today. So they said there's someone atop a spire that needs my help. Where could that be? Bambino says, at what point do you feel the main character picks up in combat? I'm level 18, and he's getting carried by Veronica and Eric. Uh, I would say... Probably, eh, I remember at one point he gets the, he gets those uh, group abilities. Like you have to basically f focus on a weapon, and if you can level his weapon up to the point where uh, number one he could do Giga Slash, which is a, an attack that hits all enemies with lightning. That's really strong. Or Miracle Slash is really good, especially the early levels. It lets him heal while attacking each turn. I mean, he's not really amazing until the, near the end of the game. Then he gets all his luminary powers and everything, and he becomes really good. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, I know that, uh, what's her name? Gemma, Gemma, is over here. But I don't think we have enough people to come here yet. I think we got the people at, um, Octagonia. But who else do we need? Let's see. Merchants, we can get us the supplies. We need to rebuild the village. I don't think we have that yet. Oh, she says Heliodor. We're going to need some rough and rough types. That's from Octagonia. Then we need more brawn. We need brains, so she wants people from Hato. And she needs a cute mascot from the Frozen North. That's going to be the freaking abominable snowman that I can't beat yet. Okay. So I can't do this stuff yet. I could eventually, but not yet. Where is this rocky spire that they're talking about? Oops. Uh... Could it be at the top of the cobblestone tour? Maybe. Remember, that was from the very beginning of the game? Maybe we have to go all the way back to the first thing we did in the game. Go to the top of the cobblestone tour and see if there's someone there that needs help. Because they did say in cobblestone at the top of a rocky spire, right? Maybe we'll go check that out. Ah. There we go. We'll see if we can do this. And then, uh, the next thing, I guess, would be we could either go to the Eerie Eerie or we could go to Gondolia. Well, I guess we'll see. Freddy Bosley has resub for the seventh month in a row. He says, I said, fuck it, I'll just buy my own. I guess what he's saying, maybe he's saying he had been gifted subs before now. Well, I appreciate it, Freddy Bosley. Seven months of support. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that very much. Sir me, Aaron, yes, I'm talking to you guys in the chat. You're supposed to respond in the chat. How else would I how else would I be talking to you? Of course you're supposed to respond to me in the chat. Oh my goodness. I think Sir me, Aaron isn't used to the whole streaming thing. He doesn't really get it. Alright, Derek says, I want to say hello to Cookie the Christmas Pooch. Uh wondering how he's doing. He's doing good. He says he's been enjoying all the streams recently. Very much so. And uh you know what I just noticed? This is the same symbols of the freaking invisible dudes. You notice that, right? And the, and the watchers? It's the same exact symbols. Huh. 
First time I noticed that because, you know, it's the first time we've been back here. All right. But anyway, Cookie's doing good. Cookie is the Christmas pooch right here. Cookie the Christmas pooch. I actually had him dance this morning. But the thing is, we can't have him dance every night because he, 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 uh, if you press the button to make him dance and sing, he walks right off the couch, so. <laughs> Okay. Well, we do have enemies over here. I wonder if they're in, if they're tough, or if they're pushovers. Oh my goodness! Big Paul Beanus is back asking about Bigfoot again. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know where this stuff comes from. I don't. I really don't. Malicious needlers. Bent Boxer has cheered and says, "What did you have for dinner? How often do you go out for dinner?" Today I ran away. Today I had um vegetable lasagna from the grocer's freezer. It was really delicious, and, uh, basically some days, oh, so how often do I go out to eat? Almost never. At this point, once a week when I go out with Cat, that's it. I don't even go out for, like, fast food or nothing. Every day I'm eating something at home now, except for the one day a week that I go out with Cat, then we eat out. You know, because you gotta have at least one day a week you don't, you don't cook something. And medicinal herbs, crappy. The Legend DSP has gifted a sub to Derek. Congratulations, Derek, on the gifted sub. And enjoy. Why didn't Cat prepare a succulent meal? Cat was at work. Cat had to go to work. Some days she does, like yesterday, there was a, uh, a pasta dish that she made, and it was really good. It was leftover pasta, and then I had the rest of it. I just realized Jade has no MP at all. What the hell happened here? We win again. I guess I can just skip all these enemies. They're really weak. I might have to give Jade MP healing items because if this is a boss up here, I'm going to get screwed. <clears throat> uh. Oh my god. People are talking about the. There's different Sasquatches? There are? I didn't even know that. The Cobblestone Tour? This is the guy I have to help? Oh! Help me! Someone, oh! Anyone! It's Dirk from, uh. It's Dirk from, uh. What is it called? Heliodor? And I need him for Cobblestone to be the merchant. Dirk! Put the vibe a little bit. Oh, I know that voice anywhere. Eric! Is that you? Yeah, remember this is Dirk, the guy who became a, a, a merchant at, at Heliodor? Right. Come on. Dirk needs our help. Let's fight this stupid bird. Malicious Hades Condor. Where's the thing that's supposed to kill things in the air? Harvest Moon. Not bad. Holy fuck, this thing's tough. I thought this was gonna be an easy fight. Oh my god. Maybe not. Christ. Now remember, I just upgraded Forbearance. He's supposed to have increased defense when he casts it. So, this should be pretty good, I think. Well, fuck this. I'm just gonna go straight for it and just do the most damaging ability. Good time for her to get pepped. Let's lose multi kick. Oh, nice time for a critical hit. Wow, poor 
Forbearance is amazingly good, dude. Forbearance is gonna save our ass in this fight. Very nice. Just keep using Forbearance. Nice. I don't know why I missed so much. That's bullshit. Wow. He healed himself. What a dick. Only 168. That was a waste of a turn. Yeah, this is pretty easy now that forbearance is working. <laughs> uh, let's do sap. Oh, he's almost dead. Yellow. Nice. Apparently it's high evasion. Damn! That's okay though. Roaring tirade. This will stun it actually. Yeah, fuck it. Stun it. Oh, yes, uh... Oh, my God, it's loud right now. Thanks, I am aware, Kainara, that, uh... There are items that up pep. I am aware of that. And Big Paul Bina says he thinks Sasquatch is from another planet. The Native Americans believe so. Oh, my God. I don't know what's happening. I really don't. Let's get Hendrick up on his feet. What? It was paralyzed, yet it still got to attack? Then what's the point of being paralyzed? I guess it took away one turn. Just gonna use forbearance again. Now Rob is pecked. Nice block. He's getting really good with that block now. So we're gonna go back to, he's almost dead. We're gonna go back to Harvest Moon. Wow, it does great damage. He's about to be dead. Done. As a server house, how are things, how are things going with the game? Good now. Basically another I finished, day, another victory. I finished a lot of stuff that allows me to craft better items, but what I need to do now is go throughout the world and fight all the optional bosses like this one throughout the world to get the good crafting items and to level up enough so that I can take on the tougher stuff. Jade leveled up. Silvando leveling up. What I need is Eric to level up so I can get his final ability. Corey, you got me out of another horrible mess there, Eric, old pal. I owe ya. I was heading off to meet the supplier when that great squawking nonsense went and carried me off. I thought I was done for. You and your mate saved my bacon. How can I ever repay you? You can have this. He gives me a spectralite. I need a little sit-down after my near-death experience. I'll hang out here and have a little breather. You got a favor to ask? You want me to help Cobblestone back on his feet? Sign me up. Uh, I would say no, I wouldn't say no to me, sa my savior, and it might be a nice little earner. There you go. Very nice. Okay. Werewolf Hugs asks, what's the best email for fan art? Darksidephil at hotmail.com. However, you should probably post it up on my forums at thekingofhate.com first. That's really how most people do it. I wonder if there's anything at the top. I'm just curious. I'm going to go all the way up and just check. It says there's something up here. It shows someone up over here. Like, like a side quest or something. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> pretty fun. You could go all the way to every single thing you did in the game so far and everything has new content. That's pretty neat.
Who is this? I heard Cobblestone's tour commanded a most marvelous view, but this surpasses all my expectations. It's breathtaking. I'll paint this image on the canvas of my heart and remember it till my dying day. My name is Hugo, and I've devoted my life to traveling the world in search of the most marvelous views in existence. I know we only just met, but I have a very strong suspicion I found you a soulmate. And found in you a soulmate, a devotee of jaw-dropping views and transcendent vistas. I have a feeling you may be able to witness the most marvelous view of all. He wants you to help him search for the most so stunning scenery. A fantastic is the, uh, the reward. Can you tell me your face, you're a kindred spirit? I hardly welcome you to the most exclusive club imaginable, the Secretive Association of Scenery Seekers. Let me point in the direction of the most marvelous sight of all, the view from the soaring cloud kiss heights of the eulogized by the legendary Vincenzo Turismo. So, it's a mountain on an island south of Octagonia, which is truly unparalleled. He experienced something of an epiphany upon seeing it, and carved his thoughts into a rock there that they may be preserved forever, but he never divulged exactly what it was he wrote. He wants me to go find out what it was. A mountain south of Octagonia. Hmm. Jason has tipped me $2 and says, Why do you think streaming video games is popular today? Um, well, multiple reasons. Number one, because... Video games are pretty much at the height of their popularity right now. They are very in with culture around the world, pop culture. Number two, not everyone has the ability to spend money to buy every game. But it's free as long as you have internet to watch someone play said game. Plus, people like the personalities of streamers and like to just kind of hang out and have a relationship with them if they can. So, it's multiple levels, basically. Thank you very much for the tip, by the way, Jason. I appreciate that. And, by the way, the Legend DSP just did a 1,000-bit cheer and said thanks for the endless entertainment and good times for many years. A new participant, but a long-time viewer. Thank you very much for the Legend DSP. I appreciate that cheer, and I will get you up on the leaderboard. Thank you for that. Ah. Ah. What is going on? I'm screwing up royally. K. Parentheses. There we go. Weesh. That was far too difficult. Okay. So. so he said south of Octagonia. Right? I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to... Hold on a second. What's directly south of Octagonia? I'm trying to see here. That's Havens Above. It can't be Havens Above. Perhaps it's that island in the water down there. In fact, I think it is. And if I remember correctly, you get there, there's a teleportation spot in the northeastern sea that jumps you in there. So that would be it. And he's going to give me some kind of a crazy stick as a reward, right? So, if I wanted to do that, I would have to go all the way down to... Whatchamacallit down there? Uh, uh, Lonolulu. I guess we'll do that. Let's do this. We'll just keep doing quests that we run into. So, the Pep Pip gives each individual character full Pep. Well, the Pep Pop, which is that drink, apparently peps up all characters at once. Interesting. All right. Why did I do that? No! <laughs> Son of a bitch. I didn't mean to do that. I gotta wait for more loading. Yeesh. Big Paul Venus says, How many joints could Bigfoot smoke till he got high? Zero. Zero, because he doesn't know how to smoke. Actually, he's very he's very anti-smoking. He joined the Truth Campaign, and he refuses to, to uh, smoke. Juggalo John C. is asking, How is the dungeoneering tonight? So far, so good. We only fought one optional boss. It was actually uh, kind of tough a little bit, because I didn't expect it to be as tough as it was. It looked like a normal enemy, but I did beat it. So now we're off to this island in order to try to see the best view possible and complete this mission for this guy and get this fantastic, whatever the hell the fantastic is. Hopefully it's good. Ah! 
How dare you? What an annoying jerk. Okay. Kelinar says giving the unique name fantastic. You know, it sounds like a pun. He says, I, I would think that it's you it's a unique weapon that'll be good, I hope. So there there's the teleportation spot right there. We have to go past the slime island and go further north to get to this island over here. Big Paul Beanish, you're absolutely correct. I am actually going to uh I am hiding Bigfoot at my house. That's why I don't like to talk about Bigfoot when you ask me about him. I don't want people to know that Bigfoot lives here. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, you know what? Thunder Thrust? No, not Thunder Thrust. Lightning Storm. Might actually be good against them. Let's find out. It's magic. Yeah, it's actually better than her kicks against them. Of course, it's way more MP. Wow, sacrifices your own life to destroy all enemies. I wonder if that actually works. Wait a minute. He has Zing Stick? I've been using Kazing this whole time. I could have used Zing Stick for half MP use. Ah, oh, crap. Well, now I know I have it at least. Nice double kill. We win See you later, Derek. Have a nice night, man. Okay. <laughs> okay. Onward. There it is. That's where we're headed. Right there. It's raining, just like it was in Washington about an hour ago when my office was flooding. Oh, malicious tentacular! Exciting! Haha. -ha. The former boss becomes a normal enemy. Oh! Ow. Not very polite. Master Sawyer says what I consider. Persona 5 and Dragon Quest 11, some of the best games I've played in the 10 years I've been around. The best RPGs I've played, yes, absolutely. I would say they are. They're among the best. Let the darkness consume you! He didn't let the darkness consume him. He should have. Miss, 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 and you're asleep. Ha uh ha. -huh. And goodbye. Eric leveled up. Ah, oh, he only has 16 points. That's not enough to get that ability he needs. Remember, Eric's ultimate ability is that when he two hands any weapon, both weapons do full damage. And apparently, if you do that and then use critical claim with with divide, it basically gives him six full damage critical hits that are absolutely insane. So. Here we go. Android X has cheered. He says, we are the same age. Do you remember where you were when 9-11 happened? Yes, I was at home with my mom. Actually, it was a day my mom and I were actually going to go out and do some stuff, like shopping and stuff. And basically, we still went out to talk to a few friends and stuff that we knew around. But everything was, like, closed, you know? Because 9-11 happened. Like, the whole country was in shock at what had happened. So, ended up not being a day out that we had planned. That was for sure. Alrighty, bad. Good to see you. Juggalo John says, says, I've ever one-shot a boss. I know, I don't think I've ever one-shot a boss. Oh, by the way, what is this? Is this a door that I have to open? It is! Oh my god, I never came back to open this door. 
This is a door from the beginning of the game. Yeah, it's the red door. Oh, you know what? It is open. Oh, that's kind of lame. It acts like it acts like it's something special and it's not. So where is this view that he wants me to get? Is there a way to go up high and get this spectacular view? Uh. Well, this is definitely the island to the south of uh, Octagonia, but maybe I need one of these flying guys that will fly me up there. I'm not really seeing what he what he's talking about. Hmm. Anything over here? No. Uh, I am confused. I'm on the island to the south of Octagonia. And there is nothing here. This kind of sucks. I think maybe something's messed up or the in-game description is incorrect. Because I'm definitely where he described. But I don't see a way up the mountain at all. Like I said, if one of those dragons was sparkling, maybe I could fly the dragon to the top. But neither of them is sparkling. This is a dead end. Oh, wait! That one is sparkling now? No. Oh, it is. It is. Here he is. Okay, cool. Very nice. A oh, bingo, bango, bongo. Holy crap, he got owned. <laughs> he got friggin' owned. Here we go. Our triumph was never in doubt. Ooh, a word for defeating 400 different species of monster. Cool. We are going up. Now I could fly to all the islands, right? Oh, look, there's items here, too. Oh, wow, anything good? A colorful cocoon. That's a crafting item I could use, I bet. I, I think I have a few of them, though. Is anything there? I found a chest. Three files of sainted soma. Look, there's a secret area back here. Sure takes a while to descend. <laughs> it's, it's sure taking a sweet time to descend. Kumulanibau. And Wormwood. I think these are crafting items I actually needed to do high-level crafting. I'm almost positive. That Kumalana Bow is something I've never found before. Alright, so... Where do I need to fly exactly to find this view? Could it be over here? Yeah, I think it is actually. Probably up here, I bet. Let's take a look over here see if there's any items on this side. I don't see anything there. Directly below me, there's a spot. I don't see anything there either. All right, let's go up. It's probably right up here. Tend to color dream cloth. That I definitely need for crafting. Nice, I'm getting all the rare crafting items now. Oh boy. Here it is. There's a chest. Look at this. An inscription carved into the shabby old stone. It's hard to read, but if you squint, you can read it out. 
This is truly one of the most magnificent, spectacular, and indeed utterly gobsmacking views I've seen in my long career as a connoisseur of splendid scenery. What uses a beautiful view when one is all alone? I realize if a man is, has his love beside him, even the most paltry view will be filled with beauty. In conclusion, I must find a wife. Signed, Vincenzo Turismo. You found the inscription left by the legendary scenery seekers. So I head back to Cobblestone and tell Hugo what it says. Oh, wow! I got three agates of evolution! Nice! Oh, there it is again. Oh, shit! No! Okay, so... That is it, but wow, I got some good crafting items, man. I am very glad that I came out here and flew around. Those are the ones I need for the high-level items in the game. Actually, is there another spot right here? No, that's where I was. Then what was over here? Oh, that was the other one I just went to. Nothing there. I grabbed the item already. Okay. Alright, well, that was pretty good. So make sure I didn't miss anything since there's such high level crafting items here. I can't leave them behind. I need them for making all the good weapons and items. Nope, I think I'm good. I think I got everything. Alright, I guess we can get out of here. We just gotta land. Once I land, I can get out of here. Would I recommend this to someone who enjoyed Persona 5? Just to make it abundantly clear, the game is great, but it's much slower paced than Persona 5, in my opinion. It's much more traditional, and the combat isn't as exciting. So, and plus, it's very easy. The main campaign of the game is very easy. It's only this post game that's kind of challenging. So. So, let's go get our reward. Wait a minute. I cannot go to the cobblestone tour, right? No. Okay, I have to go on foot to go get our fantastic. Let's see just how fantastic this stick is, actually is. Then after that, maybe we'll go to Gondolia. I guess we'll go to Gondolia next, then maybe we'll see what the conch tells us to do. Remember it mentioned Hato as well? Maybe we should be going in the order the conch is telling us. Because maybe, maybe the conch tells you order of difficulty. So you don't accidentally go to the harder stuff first. Maybe. La 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 la. La 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 la. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We rush you here again to get back to the guy and see what this fantastic is. Fantastic. Okay. Oh my god, people are talking about conspiracy theories about 9 11 and politics. Oh no. Can we change the subject, guys? Can we not, uh, talk about these controversial subjects? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not a big, I'm not a big, uh, conspiracy guy. Except for very few things that actually have affected me and I have evidence of. I don't usually try to get into conspiracies. Um. Okay. What's down here? This is from earlier on. I already, I already, yeah. That's from earlier in the game. I'm not going over there now. There's something there. <laughs> okay. All the way to the top. <laughs> Bigfoot is a government conspiracy. Uh. Uh. Can we stop talking about it? Oh my god. 
The only actual penguins is I feel like a lot of the areas look the same in the game. Maybe I tune in the same areas every time. It seems to be a lot of green mountains. Uh, yes and no. The overworld, I would say, is a lot of green mountains, but there's been a lot of different varied environments, you know? There's been desert, there's been jungle, there's been swamp, there's been, uh, the plains, there's been icy areas, you know, volcanic, volcanic areas. There's been a wide variety of locations. Okay. All right, here we go. Tell them the message. Knock me down with a feather. Not in a million years would I have imagined that Vincenzo Teresa's most profound insight as he looked down upon the world was that he needed a wife. Thinking about it, solitude is something of an occupational hazard for we scenery seekers. I myself have been so busy scaling these heady heights, I have neglected to think about finding a life partner. I don't regret it for a second, not a single solitary second. No, I have lived my life in pursuit of a higher cause. Who needs a wife when a resplendent vista is unfolding beneath one's feet? I've chosen this life, and I stand by my choice. Besides, I am not alone. Beauty isn't my bride. The wide blue yonder is my beloved, and the whispering breeze is my most faithful friend. My choice was the right one, and now I have introduced a bright young talent to the marvels of scenery seeking two. Speaking of which, let me give you a small reward. I got the fantastic. Let's see if it's any good. If not, maybe it's for crafting something else. That's why I've noticed a lot of the quest rewards end up being crafted into better items. He cannot equip it. Well, incredible spellcasting say that there's sometimes stop status ailments. 50% chance of snap, crackle, poof effect when battle begins. So it seems to me it has the same stats as the stick she had, which is the Seraph stick, right? But it actually has a good status preventing thing. So, quite honestly, it's, it's pretty good. She can't equip the Fantastic either. All right, fantastic it is. Evel Gibson says, what are my thoughts on the game? I love it. <laughs> I've been playing it for, for over two months. I'm pretty sure I like the game. Um, You know what? Let's go to go, let's go to Gondolia. He had mentioned, or they had mentioned in Gondolia, there's some missions to do. So let's see what's going on in Gondolia. I should probably save my game at some point too. What the hell? It's playing a fight theme. Why? Now that makes me nervous. Why is it playing a fight theme? Uh-oh. This isn't good. I didn't rest. Uh, WJR, yeah, we actually talked earlier today about how certain games like Battlefield 5 already dipped half price. Pretty insane. It's because all these retailers stock the shit out of the games and now no one wants them. I'm scared. I don't like to look at this one bit that Dark Star's got monsters acting more vicious than ever and now they're going to take an over Gondolia. The locals got out in time but now it's monsters everywhere strolling around. Oh god. I guess we'll fight these monsters. Huh. Smog bonnets. Shit, that did a lot of damage. Oh, 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 oh. Very nice. Victory is ours. Okay, I guess we gotta defeat all the monsters in town, huh? Bo -bo -bo -bum, bum. Ba -ba -ba -bum, bum. Ba -ba -bum, bum. Come on. Oh, uh, Jack Spartacus says, Phil in chat, what do you think went wrong with Battlefield 5? For me, 
I honestly didn't follow any of the drama around Battlefield 5. I know there was drama between the game developers and people in regards to putting a woman as a protagonist of their story or whatever, and then insulting people who basically didn't like that and saying, oh, women are here to stay on social media and shit like that. For me, where did they go wrong? The game sucks. I played the demo. I hated it. You know, I thought it was boring as hell. It was very, very too similar to the last one. That's why I didn't like it. it had nothing to do with any kind of drama or anything like that. This! Oh! Wow, it didn't do like any damage for some reason. Nice! Uh, efficient MP use. Veronica leveled up. Shulinka sizzled. Eric can't use his points yet. Veronica probably can. Let's see. Zing stick. That's great. Yep, that's a great ability. I don't think so. I have anything for Solanda. What about Jade? I guess charm. I'll start upping her charm. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah. Sexy beam! Oh my god. A seductive onslaught that can beguile an enemy. What is with these names? See, pep up power up. That's good. I'll probably go for that. Alright, that's it for now. Let's keep going. You see any enemies down in the docks? I don't see any. What's that? Ah! Take this! Keygrim just cheered. He said, nice more DQ. What RPG or JRPG are you thinking you will do next? After this, I'm thinking either Final Fantasy IV or Shenmue II, depending on my mood and timing. And then after that, it's going to be Kingdom Hearts III. Good block. Goodbye. Easy one. Uh, Jack's party gets he's very sad about Fallout 76 turning out like it did. He was hoping it would be a good MMO. Yeah, I had a feeling. We all knew from what we saw at E3 and everything we were hearing about it, it probably wasn't going to be good, let's face it. I think we kind of knew. We were hoping for the for you know the best, but we kind of knew from everything we had seen it wasn't going to be very good. And boy, is that a bullet I dodged when I decided not to play it. <laughs> So we know it'll do about 240 damage. Let's try Parallax, see how much this does. It does it actually does more damage. I might start using Parallax instead from now on. You didn't die. Oh, come on. Oh, good. He used Cassette that I don't care about. Good stuff. It's funny, they stop playing the music, then the music starts right again. Oh boy, look at this guy. <laughs> look at this idiot. A big doof. A Badonis. Giggle Trude again. So the good thing is that it was not Fallout 5 and it was supposed to be like Fallout 76. Yeah, thank God that was not officially Fallout 5. That probably would have been pretty upsetting. Just saying.
Let's try Chill Blaze. I don't know if I even did this before. That wasn't so bad at all. An excellent block. You know what? Forbearance. Ooh. Uh, I might as well heal. Might as well. I gotta get rubbed that ability. I swear it was the same as, uh, what's her name's? Where it says you could randomly get two hits in. Or two spells in. I don't know if it was Sam or, or Serena that has it. Not Serena, uh, Veronica. But whoever it is needs to get it. None shall pass. None shall pass. Blocked. Too good, man. Hey, give me some MP. Wow, he only did 80 damage to him. That was awesome. Again. Forbearance is too good. Forbearance is incredibly good. Majibu says, eventually I might need to place Rob with Serena. She's a better healer. She's a better healer, but she, she, she doesn't have, like, the good offensive stuff, I don't think, right? I don't know if she has both Sap and Blunt, either. I'm not even gonna heal. Screw it. Nice. We win again. Okay. I don't think there's any monsters on the bottom floor. I think they're all on the top, so I'll keep walking this way. Oh, wait, I can fight this guy. There we go. A Fowler Jowler. Amazing critical hit. None shall pass. Not bad at all. Finish him. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, it was. All right, what about this side of town? By the way, I could finally open the door. Holy shit. I never came back to do this. I could finally go into this gate. <laughs> this is from the beginning of the game. I totally forgot to come back. By the way, does everyone think the volume level is okay with the game? Because I can adjust it. 50,000 gold coins? I don't need that. That's a waste. I was looking for something better. Damn, there's like nothing good here besides the mini metal. Yeah, guys, let me know how the volume sounds. If it sounds good or not. An agate of evolution. The game was a little a little loud. You guys actually think it's loud, huh? Okay. All right, I lowered it even more. So I finally went through that. I can't believe I forgot to do that earlier in the game. Oh well. All right, uh, we're still looking for, for enemies, right? Shouldn't be too many left. Bernie Lomax is perfect. Perfect volume level now. None shall pass. None shall pass.
I'll take that, Snoot Bonds. Stanzer takes it all, because he's the man. He's the man, he can take it. He will not die. There we go. Ah, not bad at all. Okay. I saw an enemy back here. Where did he go? There he is. He just rendered from the draw distance. That's all. Or de-rendered. Boom. Boom. Got a nice critical in there. Locked one. Surrender your soul. Oh. Goodbye. So, what's left? There's two more monsters. There's two more monsters hiding in town, he said. Where the hell could they be? Maybe the lower levels? Maybe. There's one. Okay. Okay. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Guy go gash. Oh, only seven ninety damage. <laughs> okay, there's one group left somewhere. Where could they be hiding? Not here. Oh, I found a chimera wing. Maybe around the back? Or down below? There is a walkway below as well. Maybe he's down back there? Hmm. Let's see. No, but the stupid Puff Puff girl is still here. Oh my god. Get out of here, stupid. A Puff Puff girl. She's in the middle of a monster infested city. Trying to give Puff Puff to random dudes who come by. Oh my god. Someone's gonna basically put up a big stink about that. Say, why are the Japanese saying that, that women are insatiable sexual objects who just want to rub their tits in your face constantly? Because that's how this game portrays them with the Puff Puff girls, right? Ugh. Anyway. Nothing here. So it's not here. Maybe it's the other side then? I don't know. Maybe where the docks were, but the front end of where the docks were? What you didn't know is those Puff Puff girls will charge you to see private Instagram pics. However, they don't pay taxes on that. <laughs> But then they just got audited, so they're screwed. Where the hell is this last monster? I can't fucking find it. Where the fuck? Where's the monster? Uh, oh, 
imagine boost is getting the hail now that I had earlier. Yeah, dude, that hail's crazy. Be sure all your windows are closed. You'll get a fucking... If you leave a cup outside, you'll get, like, a snow cone when you're done. Rocks of ice. Dude, I can't find this stupid enemy. Where the fuck is this one enemy hiding? I just ran through the whole city. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. Got it. Uh. God damn. Oh, tr trust me, Andre W. The government will notice if I don't pay my taxes. <laughs> they will notice, so I gotta pay them. One way or another. Nice. Another day, another victory. Okay. All right, very good. <laughs> Nostro Salvatore is you. Noah, tell me you fight all the monsters and save Gondolia. I must say a huge greasy to you when I order everyone to evacuate. I know think they ever come back. No, Signore, I know I have words to express how grateful we are. Instead, you must take this, por favor. A thunderstorm sword. Nearly I forget. No, it tell me to tell you he looked for you. We have something important to say. Probably Grazi Mille, but who knows? You must find out for yourself. The thunderstorm sword. Is any good? We'll deal lightning damage when attacking. It's not very good. I think it's just a one-handed sword, actually. Yeah, it is. But, perhaps it'll be actually good for, like, Silvando or Eric. Let's see. Yeah, it's actually really good to get rid of that stupid Falcon Blade. Okay, good stuff. That's Placido. So I need to go look. There's a lot of side quests in this town now, apparently. Now that I've cleared it up. Okay. Why is Hendrik using the axe as Freddy Bosley? Because basically, even though Hendrik can do more damage two-handing, he has incredible defense now with that shield. So it's worth it to use the axe. I'm the one who delivered Hakim's letter. He delivered another letter for me. This time it's going to Puerto Valor, a gentleman who lives over by the name of Valentino. I get a mini medal for this. Okay. Tell Valentino everything, blah, blah, blah. An even lovelier letter quest. Before my dime, my lover tells me he will bring me a special flower from the desert of Galapagos. I want to see it. Maybe it'll bring me a little bit of comfort. My lovers say the name of the flower is the Desert Rose. Bring her the Desert Rose, huh? Well, there's one more mission to the north. Damn, I guess we'll go to Hado. Because Hado would be ne the next side mission that it told me to do. La Brezza Marina. Every time I stand here and smell the sea breeze, I remember the adventures I had when I was young. I was the captain, the captain of a ship. The name is Sage's Stone. When, when I still met the gondolia with all of our treasure, there's a terrible storm and it wrecked us upon the rocks. My crew survived. But all my beautiful treasures sank to the bottom of the sea. So, the man wants you to search for the legendary Sage's Stone, making the most of Mithril is the name of the book he'll give me for it. So, the ship sank due east of Heliodor. Huh. Wonder how do you do that? I don't know. I don't know. In fact, there's Heliodor right there. So 
It's gotta be, it's probably hidden in, I would almost think it's hidden in Nautica. Yeah, 